quickly. So you gotta keep learning and you gotta keep uh, improving the way you learn. So uh, absolutely you will make mistakes, you will fail uh, in some senses. But the failures are part of the success. If you don't fail 10 times, you're not gonna know, uh, you're not gonna know what to do at one time whether you do it or not. There will be missed opportunities, there will be opportunities you catch. And you just gotta keep, keep doing it. So I told all the high some participants yesterday, um, it doesn't matter what you, whether you, you're the winner or not, um, and we're not the best judges for winning or not. Um, some of your ideas, that, some of the ideas that didn't win yesterday may turn out to be really great successes in the future. So just keep building, keep learning. That's great. Yeah. So actually, I have a question for you, which is, uh, you, you've been, you've been, you've been doing the uh, traditional finance for 35 years, and you have two decades from Goldman Sachs. A lot of people ask me questions about, okay, what, what are the price actions going to be, what do I think the price uh, uh, will be, and how should I do trading because they mostly are uh, tough clients. But I actually don't know, you're the expert on that. So I actually want to have you share with our audience, what's your opinion on the price action, what do you see in 2019, sure. the trading price perspective? I think the, um, the, one of the, the benefits of, of having a um, multi-decade career, um, I guess that age is me, I should be careful with that. But, yeah was um, we got, I got to understand the mechanics of traditional capital markets. I think um, we at Cumberland, um, we are uh, one of the largest traders of cryptocurrencies in the world. We're also an early adopter in blockchain. So it was natural for us being in the derivative markets for 25 years um, and, or, and to, to cross over to crypto. Now I had the benefit of covering DRW for 25 years at Goldman Sachs and it's one of the largest uh, principal trading firms in the world. We'll be trading principally in most liquid asset classes around the globe. So I got to see all of the best principal trading um, strategies. They were all, anyone that's trading, the, the big firms that are trading crypto were my clients in some of the plays. And so when um, I left to launch my own business and eventually sold that, I ended up uh, as the global head of business development at, at Cumberland and TRW. And it was to basically deploy the, in, uh, evaluating the, the evolutionary technology of blockchain and how to pro take principal trading techniques to crypto. And they're different, they're uniquely different. The, um, the traditional capital markets uh, ecosystem for trading it was very, um, had all the exchanges had the same interfaces they all used to fix. Um, so algorithms could all work in the same way. In crypto, each exchange was constructed differently. Some had um, web, web sockets, there was very there was no very little fix when they started. And um, a number of exchanges were on native APIs. So traditional algorithms and coding connectivity didn't, didn't work in the same way. As a matter of fact, when we started deploying algorithms, it, it, it would it, it wouldn't work because of the disharmonization uh, of the connectivity. So it takes uh, a, a different a different view there. And I will tell you, when we, when I looked at this when I was leaving Goldman Sachs, I was benefit. I, I shouldn't probably. I'm the luckiest person in the world. My path is much different than yours. I was not a technologist. I came from the derivatives background. And I got a project that they gave me at Goldman Sachs coming through regulation, where we had to combine our client facing businesses. To, into one to release the excess capital to drive return on equity with the new regulatory capital requirements. And, and it turned out I, I was assigned the, the, I was responsible for the global vision of, of pulling this project off. And it was a technology project. So I reported to the CTO of Golden Sachs for um, two and a half years to rewrite our client technology. And he'd come to me when we were done at work every day and he'd throw these. He said, I'm going to recommend Goldman invest in this one. And it was like a blockchain. He'd throw another one on and he said, blockchain. I'm like, we're learn how to use blockchain. So I started studying and it made no sense. I, I read this Satoshi White paper, this is 2010 into 11. I read it like 12 times and I'm like, I don't understand what this is. So finally he showed me a video and it scared me to death. I walked home to my wife and, and she's like, you're really upset, what's wrong? And I said, I think I just saw the end of the world. And she said, what, what are you talking about? And I said, there's this new technology, it's called blockchain. We're gonna take our, our money that I earned as a senior in people and we're gonna, we're going to digitize it. We're going to put in a new computer. No, no, no. We're going to decentralize it across millions of computers. And I said, I can tell you how this movie's going to end. They're going to digitally and decentrally take all my money. We're going to die in a bread line. This is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. So out of fear and anxiety about not missing this, I started studying it. And um, I started really digging into it. And I started seeing why I had light bulbs start going off of use cases. And I started seeing the efficacy of the technology. And I started buying Bitcoin at a dollar. And going in, and so in a month, I was in a few months. I was into Bitcoin, and in, in a few months after that, I said, "I'm going 
going to do this for a living. I'm not going to miss this. This is a movement. What's going to make this different is this is going to be a movement that's driven by people. Uh, and people are going to bring the power of, the, of this to the technology. And that really clicked for me when I went to see Matt Rosex speak, watching uh, an event in Chicago with my programmers. Said, and I said, I want, I want, I believe in him. I believe he's got this vision. So what I took, what, and then this was the traditional capitalist, how to build the mechanics to get velocity of money through. So now you see the price action. Traditional capital markets are institutional driven and, and they provide price discovery for retail. Our ecosystem started as a retail driven economy where the institutions aren't evaluating how to get in. So the price action is uniquely different. Um, and, and moves differently, uh, the technology works differently, um, and it's become, uh, Crypto 1.0 is pretty easy to trade and make money in the whole market, um, but the, uh, it's, begotten, it's become very challenging, but there's really good, interesting things to come. I'm as optimistic today as I was when I first started off my first Bitcoin, um, that this is an evolution that is now just beginning. So for, for 2019, from a, from a trading perspective, right, for Cumberland as, as, a, as a relatively large institutional trader in this space, what are the challenges that you see, or what are the advice that you give to other traders? Uh, I think the biggest thing that we've seen um, in this is that um, the morale of the ecosystem, um, and I don't have to tell you, um, those of you that were, are holding on currencies, if you haven't been in the trading community, um, the, the anxiety that November and December caused. And I had a lot of people that weren't really believers, they weren't really in, and they said, you know, is this it? Is this the end? And I actually said, no, this was a sporting event. The national anthem has just finished playing. The game is just beginning. Uh, and I, I think that the price is a scorecard for trading, but it does not represent what, the, what goes on behind the scenes in the ecosystem of the community. So from a trading perspective, when you see consolidation like we're going through right now in price and technology, everybody now, the building has now slowed down and it's only increased. Um, and the, uh, so we tell people from the trader, what we do is we, and I wrote this article at the point desk at your end, I said, if you're building it, keep building. Because this is a movement that has really now just started. And what we see is, is that like when you crossed over, you saw things. When I crossed over, I saw things. What I saw, I sat on the week, the desk at, week, uh, at Lehman Sunday, ten and a half years ago, and they called us in and they said, we're going to have to trade, um, Lehman's going to go under on Monday, and we're going to have to pair off debt, and we're like, we don't have exposure to Lehman, why would we have to trade Lehman debt? And they said, well, um, because the rest of the street does, and uh, if you want to be with J.P. Morgan as the only two bank banks left standing in the world, you know, keep that in mind. Like, okay, we got it. So after trading this debt on Sunday and carrying it off, we saw all these young uh, professionals that didn't understand what was going on, and they 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 were looking. Their eyes looked like they were rolling back in their heads like slot machines. They didn't understand it. One one youngster finally got me uh, the courage up, and he said, "Is this is this the end? Are we going to be okay? Is this the end?" And, 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 in, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know. Like, we've never seen anything like this. And, you know, no, this could be the end of the world. But the leader came up and he said, yeah, you know what? We're going to be okay. And we're going to be okay. But somewhere out there in the future, there's going to be a better way. And roll the clock forward through the evolution of people investing in education and blockchain and leaders committing their time and resources to entrepreneurial You see this exchange where she's uh, come out. The price action is going down. I don't. We don't raise the. It's one of the largest trading firms in the world. We don't really care that much about the price. We care about the fundamental of the work that's going on out there. The, the price action doesn't matter because of you. We. I left to go into this because of you people in this room. We believe in you. This is the better way. That's. What, I just didn't have that message to give them when we were talking to them about payment. So we come in and we trade what's there. We try to provide the best liquidity we can to the ecosystem, and we will continue to do that and work on the trading mechanics. Um, the quality of the exchange technology um, is real, it's becoming real, and um, we believe that, that market structure will be able to support that velocity of money with all the work that's being done in the ecosystem um, as we get through this consolidation in 19. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that is pretty good, actually. So for, for any of the guys who are, who are out there who are really worried about price, this is a lot of our largest traders. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that 